The exhibition that you see surrounding me is the work of Monty Dolak, who is Montana's probably best known and most beloved artist today. He has defined uh, this great state and this wonderful place that we call home. Something that I got very interested in was the mythologies that cultures all over the world tell about themselves through talking about and telling stories through animals. Woodpecker steals fire from the trees because fire lives in the trees. He takes pity on people. There actually was a $10 bill in 1910 called the Buffalo Bill. We've got Buffalo Bill here and Indian Chief here uh, kind of looking at each other across that space. They'll also see an artist who takes you from sketches and photographs and his own musings and his own writings to a finished painting, to a finished poster, a work of graphic art. I would learn so much from making a poster. When I sat down to work, it's like, okay, I have two weeks to work on, on a couple of my own pictures. It's like, oh, no, no, I, I want to add something to that. I moved that to my personal work because all along making the posters, I've always been a painter too. So I've kind of been in the middle of both those worlds. Well, when I was making posters, I you know, looked at the great posters. Historically, uh, you know, the, the movement that really came out of Paris and also Prague. And in America, during both wars, a lot of artists were able to receive uh, compensation for making posters to win the war. Here's an example. Here's a painting, Big Blackfoot River. And this is a child and limited group who really worked again on this river, which is a wonderful river. This is earlier, so you, in my style, it probably there is a little more simple and bold. But this fish is also on a license plate for Trout Unlimited. Come on over, I'll show you my T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> this is me just being me. But I learned a lot about dinosaurs doing that piece. So when it came time to make something, I had some understanding, you know, of the, the armature that needed to be created to hang all, all of those cars on. So students coming to this exhibition are likely to know Monty Dolak, mostly through his commercial work and his posters. But in this exhibition, they'll have a chance to experience Monty Dolak as a reflective landscape artist, an artist who's deeply invested in landscape, nature, things wild, and those things that really make Montana a unique and wonderful place.